So today we're gonna build something very fun and awesome for the kids tractors. I'm excited. As you see, we have probably the biggest Nerf gun I think I've ever seen. It is huge. I don't know if the camera does it justice, but it's heavy, it's big. And today I wanna mount this on the kids tractors. They've been dying to do this again. So I'm excited. I already know they're excited. They don't know what guns we have though, but I wanna mount this kind of like a turret where one of them's gonna sit on a trailer and, doo -doo 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 and shoot it while the other one drives it. I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. So let's try and figure out a way to mount that on a trailer so the kids can pull it with their little tractor. I'm excited. So I think the best trailer to use is gonna be this one that I built for their tractor. The ones that come with it aren't gonna be sturdy enough for a kid to sit in it. So I think we're gonna use these. And I wanna find a way to maybe put a seat on there and we can mount this on here somehow and it can rotate and they can shoot and drive and shoot the bad guys. So let's take that inside and find a way to mount that onto that with a seat. So see, this is why we keep extra parts. This is a seat for one of our tractors that broke and this will be the perfect seat to add onto the trailer as they can sit down and operate the Nerf gun turret. So that's gonna work perfect. Let's put this on the trailer. Actually, let's mount the gun first, I think, and then figure out what's gonna be the best spot for the seat. We might need to raise it a little bit. This might be too low to the ground. So let's figure that out. So I figured the best way to do this seat is just to mount it to a bucket, keep it easy. Keep it simple and I think it's probably one of the best ways to do it. Like always with these kids projects on these little electric tractors, you gotta keep the weight to a minimum. So I couldn't use a wooden block or steel or all these things. Cause I still have to build stuff for that turret. So I wanted to try and save weight with this. And I think it came out pretty good. I mean, I'm gonna paint it actually here in a second. That's why it's outside. But I just screwed this to the bottom of the bucket, which will then screw this into the actual trailer itself. But I think that's pretty effective. It's about the right height that we want. So now let's get this painted, make it look not like a bucket, but at least at least better than this. So now that it no longer looks like a bucket, well, it does if you get too close, but how about that? Now it doesn't look like a bucket, but now it does. I'm gonna let that dry before we mount it to the trailer. I might get some green and try to make it look a little camo-ish, but for now, that's good enough. Let's go work on the Nerf gun turret, and then we'll come mount this. So now that we've got the seat in the bucket mounted to the trailer, we got four screws all around it. That should keep it nice and secure. They're not gonna be driving too fast, I wanna find the correct height and find a way to make the turret sit where they can sit down and operate it and shoot whoever is behind them. So let's find a way to do that. So I go back and forth if, do I make this turret mounted like you see in the movies, but there won't be a really way for me to turn it, well the kids to turn it. It'll be kind of fixed straight and they can't really move it. Or do I make something that's kind of suspends over it with some straps holding onto the gun where it's, the gun's really just kind of floating and they could do what they want with it. I'm kind of leading towards making it suspended. The kids can do what they want. They can sit down. I think that's probably the easiest route and I honestly think it's probably the better route. The other one might look a little cooler, but I think this will be way more practical. So let's get started. See if we can make some sort of mounting system for this. So here we are. We got the trailer and the seat ready. This is the mounting system we're going with. Just a standard little pole, kicks out. We'll have a little washer. That's what we're gonna run the strap through. And that strap is gonna hold onto the gun. So when we're all said and done, which you'll see here in a second, it should be sitting, depending on the whatever height you wanna make it, but something like this, which is perfect for them sitting down shooting, but we gotta figure out the height. So let's put that there. Let's get a strap that's gonna work for that. Well, actually, I wanna paint this first, paint it black. We gotta match everything we got going. Maybe black, some camo-ish going on. And then I wanna mount it on there and find the right height for the kids tractor trailer. And then we're pretty much good to go. So there we go. Tell me as a kid, you would not be excited for this. You get to sit in a trailer, have your brother or sister pull you on the tractor. We gotta attach a tractor to this still. We're gonna get to that in a second, but you can sit on this and operate the Nerf gun like a turret. Look at that, it's spinning. So I think that's the benefit of doing it this way is they will be able to shoot sitting down kind of really wherever they want. You can kind of do what you want as long as it's behind you you can pretty much shoot at them so it's going to be a good way for us to have fun on the farm someone might come and steal some hay so they got to stop the bad guys with their fun nerf guns you have to check this out on our youtube channel hudson's playground if you don't know about it i'm sure you do but if you don't we're going to test it out and have fun on that channel so make sure you subscribe to that one subscribe to this one this is where we do all the behind the scenes building and everything else just like this we've built this trailer we've built numerous trailers we've built mowers we've built all sorts of things. And I always like y'all's suggestions. Comments down below. Give it a f thumbs up if you enjoyed this. I think it's gonna be fun. If you would enjoy this, please, thumbs up. I would appreciate it. And uh, until next time, let me know what you think. Bye.